guys in this video I will give you idea to understand the difficult concepts in clock skew namely positive skew and negative skew circuits the circuit I have taken to give that basic idea is the basic sequential circuit consists of two flip-flops and a combination logic circuit and uh, this is the timing diagram for the above circuit right uh, we will discuss uh, the circuit contains two registers R1 and R2 and we have a combination of logic and these two registers will receive their own clock CLK1 and CLK2 from the main clock okay so look at the timing diagram this clock 1 is corresponds to the register R1 and clock 2 corresponds to register R2 so in every clock signals there is a point around positive edge the positive edge means uh, from low to high position that is called as a positive edge for clock 1 the point 1 and point 3 are noted similarly for clock 2 the point 2 and point 4 are noted so these are the points where the registers R1 and R2 are excited because here we considered the register R1 and register R2 are positive edge triggered device since the register positive edge triggered device then a all the flip flops are excited when this edge is coming at the flip flop as I indicated in the radar remark ok so we will discuss this basic concepts by uh, two phases the first one is when the register R1 and R2 receives point 1 and point 2 and after a certain time again register R1 and R2 will receive the another the second uh, positive edge at point 3 and point 4 right first we will discuss the point 1 and point 2 received by the register R1 and R2 what will happen here the register R1 is connected to the input source the main input signal whereas register R2 is connected to the output of combinational logic circuit so what happens if R1 and R2 receives point 1 and point 2 it will simply transfer the data at the D side to Q side say namely the data available at the input of two registers R1 and R2 is 1 and 0 say it is 1 and 0 for example and when these registers receives positive edge it will simply transfer the in data digital data from D side to Q side this is what happened so once it is transferred then we will forget about that input data ok so this one is given to the input of combinational logic circuit and it will compute its output and it is given to the register R2 right so now register R1 and R2 received point 1 and point 2 then both registers will wait for the next to positive edge because we have considered the registers as a positive edge trigger device so register and R2 R1 and R2 will wait for point 0.3 and point 0.4 so until why do we need this delay this TCLK and this TCLK is the time given to this combinational logic circuit to compute its output and is to be given to the input of R2 ok so this should be given to the uh, combination logic and this combination logic will compute its digital data and it should be given to the input of register R2 ok so when register R2 receives its next next point which means the point 4 automatically this input data the computed data of combination logic circuit is transferred to Q side this is what happening ok so since 
the register R1 is connected to input side say uh, this is the input sequence coming from this data ok so first we have transferred initially it is 1 is transferred again this 0 will come this 0 is so when register R1 R2 receives point 0.3 and point 0.4 then it will simply transfer this 0 to here this is the already transmitted data ok this 0 is transmitted to here and uh, some value some computed value is given to the combination output of combination logic and this register R2 will transfer this data to output right again this is the time given to the combination logic circuit and again this 0 is given to input of combination logic circuit and it will be computed it will uh, compute its circuit value and it will generate some new value and it is given to the input of R2 again this one is given to uh, R1 register again uh, when say we have a point 0.5 here and we have a point 0.6 here so both are positive edges like this so we have we will have a positive edges like this and if point 0.5 and point 0.6 is received by the register R1 and R2 then it will simply transfer the next data and the process goes on right so what we should note from this uh, what what should be noted from this uh, exp uh, operation so it is quite clear that we should be taken care of the delay between these two clocks I mean uh, clock 1 and clock 2 right so in this uh, example I have shown that the difference between two clock signal is delta ok so we always taken care that this phase difference between uh, should be very small right and once if the clock skew is very large I mean this delta is very large then it is a problem ok you just have this idea in your mind and when we discuss the further circuits uh, further concepts of positive skew and negative skew and this will help you to understand easily okay thank you